Good morning. The assigned reading for today is the two Psalms, 16 and 17. I'm going to look also at 18 today. Tomorrow is worship at Mabel and Sutton, 9 o'clock, uh, communion worship. If you're interested, you join us for those things. Uh, and then on Monday, say, tomorrow's reading is Psalm 18 and 19, and then Monday is 20 through 22. But anyway, we'll get caught back up on the Psalms on Monday. Uh, Psalm 16 is uh, a statement of faith in God, uh, in, 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 his personal, in, in God's power to save, basically, uh, more or less. Protect me, O Lord, for I take refuge. Uh, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. And you think about that. I have no good apart from God. Um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people could de debate that. But, you know, God is good. And God brings the goodness to us. And, and, and as I've said before, there are a lot of good people that don't believe in God or, you know, that way as well. But... But you know, the, David attributes his goodness, his, his, you know, all of his good traits and characteristics to God. Um, as the holy ones in the land, they're noble. In whom is my delight? You know, they choose those who choose another god multiply their sorrows. And you know, this in, in King David's day, I mean, there were a lot of other gods. I mean, even in uh, Jesus' time, after Jesus' death. You know, as uh, I think Paul was in in uh, Athens, and he says, "I see that you are a very religious city because of all of the temples you have to the various gods." You know, and and then there was one to an unknown god, and let me introduce you to this unknown god, and and he talks then about the god of the heavens and the earth. You know, the, and then anyway, but you know, he says, "The Lord is my portion and my cup." And uh, I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. And, you know, it's a statement of, of faith. You've shown me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. So he started out, you know, my good comes from God and in you is my joy. Psalm 17 is, again, a prayer for deliverance from personal enemies. Um, you know, David found himself pursued by Saul, pursued by his son, um, he was a mighty king of Israel and in command of many troops and, and in control of much land and everything. But yet, you know, the enemies came. And, and um, we would read, you know, in the, in the history books, you know, it said in the springtime when the kings went to war, you know, and, and this, was, this was what they did. So David, you know, prayed, you know, give ear to my prayer from let... From you, let my vindication come. Let my eyes see the light. You know, if you try my heart, if you test me, you will find no wickedness in me. And, you know, so he's, he's again professing his rightness, professing his faithfulness to God, asking for God's help and, and guidance and everything. That way he says, I will call upon you for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me, hear me, you know, and... And that's, you know, like when we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You know, we are asking God to, to lend his ear to us, to hear, to hear our pleas. And, and uh, you know, I don't think God needs to put his ear up, his hand up like a megaphone that way. But, you know, it's lend us your ear and hear the words that I have to say. He says, guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked. And... You know, to, to be protected in the shadow of the wings of God, you know, that's, you know, um, I guess one thing I can think about with that is, you know, like when the, the sun is beating relentlessly on some of these hot summer days, you know, and, and when you step into the shade of a tree or the shade somewhere, you know, you, you, you feel that instant relief. And this is, this is God, you know, when we come to God with our prayers, with our petitions, with our cares, with our joys, you know, we, you know, with our, with our cares and concerns, you know, we, we can have that relief knowing that, that God hears us, that God walks through all those things with us, you know. So hide me in the shadow of your wings. Give me that protection. Give me that comfort. Give me that, that joy that comes that way. Um, he's, he's, verse 13, rise up, confront them, overthrow them by your sword, deliver my life from the wicked, you know. And so he's he's praying for this, protection for for God to strike down the enemy armies and and as we read you know through the 
First and Second Kings and Chronicles and, and the history books that we found that there were times definitely that, that God struck down the enemy. The angel of the Lord came the, and, and, and took care of the battle for the people. And so this is what David is praying. And, and the last verse, As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I will be satisfied beholding your likeness. And, and so here is that, again, that profession of a faith of eternal life, of when I awake from from my death and dying, I will awake in your likeness and I will be in your presence. And, and such a beautiful um, promise to believe and to trust in all of those ways. Psalm 18 is one of the longer psalms. Psalm 118 is the longest psalm. Um, but Psalm 18 is a uh, David giving thanks for the victory in various battles. And as I said, you know, he was... You know, pursued by Saul, he was pursued by his son. He, the other kings rose up against him, and several kings were joined together against him. And but he starts out, "I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my rock, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge." And so again, that wonderful profession of faith, and knowing that you're safe with God, you're safe in God. That 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 God protects us from, from the devil, from sin. You know, he, he takes those things away from us. We, we, are, we are safe. And he said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and I shall be saved from my enemies. And that's, that's true for us today, too. I mean, it isn't going to, you know, someone's gossiping about us or someone, you know, they're telling lies or they're doing whatever. I mean, you know, those... It isn't specifically that way, but you know our biggest enemy is, is Satan, and the biggest fear is sin. And, and on those two, we have we have nothing on our own, and so we rely fully upon God for that. You know, He's worthy to be praised, for I will be saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me; the torrents assailed me; the snares of death confronted me in my distress I called to the Lord and from his temple he heard my voice you know again you know David cries out to God and remember when David was hiding from Saul in the cave I mean he's hiding there in his cave from Saul and and, and Saul comes into the very cave where David is hiding I mean what kind of a scary situation would that be for you you know to know that the person who is pursuing you wants to see you dead is just within feet from you, you know, but yet David knows that, that God is protecting him and giving him um, the voice of, of safety. And, you know, David was God's chosen successor to King Saul. And, and, and so David had God's protection in that way. And for the most part of his life, David was faithful to God, and we all know what happened. With, well, maybe we don't all know, but with Bathsheba, and and after David is confronted by the prophet Nathan, we will read his plea to God in another psalm, "Created me a clean heart, O God." But here, you know, in my distress, I call to my God, and from His temple, He heard my voice, and my cry reached His ears. And so here, you know, when I was you know, like this, when, you know, he said, oh, Savior, you know, lend your ear to us, you know, God, David is, is sure that his prayer reached God's ears. Uh, when we get to verse 17, he delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me. They were too mighty for me. You know, God delivered me because they were too mighty for me, but not for God. They confronted me in a day the Lord was my support he brought me into a broad place and he delivered me because he delighted in me. You know, God found, in David, God had found a, a, an upright person, a person of integrity, of honesty, you know, for the most part, <clears throat> as much as any human being could be that way. But David had found God's favor and, and David realizes that and he gives thanks and praise to God for that. The Lord record, uh, rewarded me according to my righteousness, he said. And then we go down to verse 28. It is you who is my lamp. My Lord, my God, lights up my darkness. You know, uh, verse 30. 
His way is perfect. The promise of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. A shield for all who take refuge in him. You know, so it's, you know, it's not just King David. It's, you know, you and me. We, when we come to God, we are, we are safe in his presence. And then verse 31, for who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock beside our God? You know, this, Psalm 18 here is a, you know, praising God so many times and giving thanks for deliverance from his enemies and, and knowing that God hears his plea. Uh, verse 41, 3, it's, You delivered me from strife. You made me the head of nations. So David is acknowledging that God anointed him king, that God is with him and leading him as, as, as the king of Israel and all of those things. You know, you've delivered me. And he says, people I have not known serve me. And, you know, like, I mean, Uriah the Hittite was not a Jew. He was not an Israelite, but he was one of the most important leaders of, of David's army later on. In verse 46, the Lord lives, blessed be my rock and exalted may be the Lord of me, the God of my salvation. So my salvation. And so David isn't talking just about life on this earth, just about the times that God has led and protected and guided him, but the salvation, the salvation of our souls is dependent upon God. And he ends this, I extol you, I lift up, I praise you, O Lord my God, among the nations, I sing praises to your name. And that's what we do. I mean, we, you know, we have these praise songs and some of them are um, kind of, just they're very repetitious, but you know, we praise God in and through all things and the heavens and earth praise him as well. Um, again, tomorrow morning, worship at nine at Sutton. Thanks for tuning in again today.